Since wood is so important to the pulp and paper industry, pulp and paper mills are usually built in very forested areas to facilitate the collection of trees and wood chips. Trees are usually chopped down and transported to nearby mills for the process to begin. Water is also used regularly throughout the craft process, today's most common way of making paper. Transporting water to the mills can be a long process, so now most modern mills are constructed near large bodies of water. Since Canada has a lot of raw resources and water, Canada is one of the leading paper producing countries in the world. The industry is especially concentrated in Quebec because of Quebec's massive boreal forest with hundreds of thousands of trees and kilometers of rivers excellent for producing electricity and any surplus they use within the pulping process itself. Canada's top three paper producing companies are Abbey TB Bowwater, Domthar and Cascade. These giant companies produce tons of paper that is used all around the world. Most of the paper Canada produces is exported. The top three countries we export paper to are the United States, China and Japan. Since the pulp and paper industry is one of the largest industries in today's economy, Canada is not the only paper producing country. Other countries with major forests like Brazil, with the Amazon rainforest, are also major paper producing countries. Paper mills are placed extremely strategically to maximize the output of paper and minimize the costs associated with them like transportation and etc. All these resources are very attainable in Quebec and Canada. The resource that is the most available in Canada is lumber coming from a wide variety of forests. The lumber can either be softwood or hardwood depending on the product. In the case of Quebec's boreal forests, softwood is more attainable, but in the lower regions the type of wood are mixed. Some of the types of softwood that paper mills could extract are spruce, fir, pine, hemlock, and birch, or hardwoods such as oak or maple, all of which are common in Quebec forests. British Columbia, another major paper supplier, has forests full of cedars, hemlocks, and douglas firs that the lumber companies extract, not to mention the supplies of hardwood trees exploited by mills as well. Electrical resources are easy to obtain as well in Quebec and are cheaper than conventional fuel sources due to low electricity prices and an abundance of rivers in the province. Due to these reasons, paper mills are built in very specific areas. Energy is such an important resource in modern mills that certain Canadian companies build expensive private dams for power and to save money when compared to the energy costs of commercial power companies such as Hydro-Quebec. Abbey TB Bowwater, for example, produces 765 megawatts of power from their dams to keep their machinery running at a productive rate. Nationally, in the U.S. paper mills, the machinery that requires the most electrical energy are in the paper manufacturing section. These are composed of the components in the wet end using 103.2 TBTU, the pressing using 36.5, the dryer is using 45, the dry end using 18.4, the coating preparation using 1.2, and the super calendar using 2.7. The major energy consuming processes in the pulping section are grinding and refining with a 36.8 TBTU and recycling materials of 38.2. Due to these outrageous energy consumption rates, many US and Canadian companies invest in renewable or efficient power such as wind, biomass, or hydro to reduce the energy costs. The pulp and paper industry employs many people across Canada. As of 2006, the Canadian paper industry employs 41,059 employees. 33,346 of them work on the actual production of paper, 7,713 are administrative employees. However, employment in this industry has gone down over the years since 1997 and has shrunk by 4.8%. This accounts for $2.9 billion worth of salaries with an average salary of $69,701 per year. For people with interest in the pulp and paper industry, there are many career opportunities. Jobs include power and recovery engineer, maintenance supervisor, maintenance planner, maintenance coordinator, product engineer, electrical reliability engineer, project engineer, senior project engineer, pulp engineering supervisor, or maintenance. 
Certain jobs, such as electrical reliability engineer, may require some background and previous knowledge in fields like paper, chemistry, and power. There are many companies currently searching for employees in this field. The following is a small list of those companies inside and outside of Canada. IBTV Bullwater, Canada. Akert Fanet, Norway. Alberta Newsprint, Canada. Alstrom Paper Group, Netherlands. Alkem Kagit, Turkey. Amcor, Australia. AMEC, UK. American Baller, USA. And American Process Incorporated. With this entire industry being so dependent on natural resources such as trees and water, it is important that we be careful on how we exploit nature. Recycling reduces the effects of deforestation and lessens the amount of waste piling up. 50 years ago, rainforests covered 14% of the world's land surface. Today, however, rainforests only cover 6% of all land. This is happening in the boreal forest as well where 19,000 square kilometers have been cut down for the facial tissue industry. It's been estimated that if we recycle half of all paper that is used, it will save 80,000 square kilometers of forest land. It is also said that for every ton of paper recycled, 3 cubic meters of land fill space will be left unused. Creating pulp from recycled paper is a somewhat different process than making it from scratch. Used paper is first sent to a tank with chemicals which turns the paper back into pulp and bathed in lukewarm water. Metal and plastic are then removed through screening. The ink is removed in another section that injects the pulp with air. This system then skims the foam that is produced from the air and the ink. The pulp is then passed through rollers which drain out the water and give it a more solid look. Knives then cut the paper pulp and then it is bleached, turning it from grey to white. It is then inserted into a flat screen dryer where it is put onto paper rolls. Although paper can only be recycled so many times, recycled paper is just as strong and reliable as original paper when combined with paper made from scratch. To sum this all up, pulp and paper is an important resource which employs many people and has many chemical processes. It can be as simple as bleaching pulp to actually breaking down organic fibers. This product also has a great impact on modern society ranging from toilet paper to newspaper. Despite great importance, it takes a massive toll on the environment and most companies are conscious of this and therefore use ecologically friendly chemicals and recycle. The pulp and paper industry is a marvelous industry that will last forever. 